हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक गाइस होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे आई एम हियर नियर सिद्धरा बेटा दिस पर्टिकुलर फोर्ट इज चनारायण दुर्गा सो इट्स ऑन द वे टू सिद्धरा बेटा इट्स सो यू जस्ट हैव टू टेक अ डिविएशन बिफोर लाइक सेवन एट किलोमीटर्स एंड दिस इज वेर यू हैव टू कम देर इज नथिंग सच एज पार्किंग स्पेस एंड आई डोंट थिंक सो देर इज एनीथिंग लाइक एंट्री फी एज वेल सो दिस Uh, we came here till using Google Maps itself. So we have parked our bikes here only, and uh, I see there two cars as well. Akai, do coat take away. So there are nothing such as markings here. So you should ask locals. Uh, like where to start from and where to park vehicle <laughs> so there is a small temple here and uh, towards the fort this will be the way <laughs> so, this is the start trail and it the start itself is little bit slippery so don't don't try to take that particular path come this way like this and keep going this way up are hey you see na okay so because this place is not maintained uh, by anybody right so there nothing like washroom here it's just a small town here and uh, we had to also park our vehicles on the road itself and from there and from there we just have to come straight and come this way you'll found this temple and you have to start walking this way up and the main important thing is that you don't find even what small shops or the for water bottle so and even there are no washrooms so i would suggest there there were bathrooms or washrooms near madhu uh, uh, near us dabas pete itself so get freshen up there only and then move towards this side so this place is like on the way to siddhara betta and uh, there's nothing like washroom facilities here so we have just started and we have already started to face difficulty <laughs> but it's fun <laughs> Thank you. Wear proper shoes here, otherwise you're gonna get this. This rock is a bit slippery, so uh, proper trekking shoes would work. near the start point there are no markings but the way you keep going up you have a mar marking like this but the trail is little bit uh, difficult is what i felt uh, shouldn't be done during uh, monsoon uh, uh, but definitely during post monsoon this would be amazing trek you will be able to see greenery all over the place and yeah there is no nothing like shelter till you reach peak i guess so that's the peak is what i feel not sure it looks like a resting place for soldiers yeah kind of a resting place for soldiers and it also looks like underground tunnel or a cave not sure what it is that much interested in cave exploration but looks amazing
So let's continue our track after resting here for a while. Yes. Huh? We are approaching the gate. It's not the end of the track. Uh, it's the entrance. That's the main fort and this was just a gate so I guess another half an hour to 45 minutes but overall it was not at all tiring so far but I don't know how is the route there's one more gate that I can see there and it's fun so far so that is the first gate once you enter from here there's a second gate but if you take left, you will find this beautiful pond over here. Our water has been harvested very nicely. So we have reached the peak and uh, this is how it looks like to be on the top of this fort. So this is one of those Navdurga's fort uh, that they are surrounded around Bangalore. So let's fly our drone and see this particular place through a bird's eye. 